Hello there. Welcome to the fourth video of Google Ad Manager course. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I will put the link to the whole playlist in the description below. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about UI. We will, I will do a quick UI walkthrough so that you can get familiar with the UI of Google Ad Manager. I will show you both Google Ad Manager UI and briefly Google Ad Manager 360 UI where there is not much of a difference. Now the objective of this particular video is so that you are familiar with the UI, you know the basics, you know where to find what and later we create campaigns, line items, orders and so that you are a bit more comfortable then and you already know where we stand how much of UI have you already explored so let's jump into the video but before that I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of this video which is App Broda. App Broda is a Google channel partner for their Google Ad Exchange demand now what App Broda primarily does is they want you to focus on your apps and building amazing apps so that they can take care of everything about the monetization of these apps now some of the advantages uh, of working with App Broda is they help you to get the highest CPMs and fill rates by their optimization team and there is no SDK integration needed and they also provide you 24-7 support and a dedicated account manager. Now in my experience as well some of my clients in the past few years have worked with App Broda and we have seen a drastic increase in the monetization and eCPMs up to 50% in one case it was even more than 100% as well. I have put a link in the description below where you can go to their website and know more about App Broda. So that being said let's jump into today's video. Now as discussed before uh, to log into your Google Ad Manager account if you already have one you have to go to admanager.google.com and it will automatically take you to the access to, to the plat to the account where you have access. Or if you have multiple uh, accounts, it will ask you which account you want to log in. And once you log in, you are directly redirected to this page, which is the home page. Now, there are multiple tabs. So everything in Ad Manager can be controlled by on this left navigation panel. So there are different tabs like home, delivery, inventory, protections, reports, privacy and messaging and admin. Now, before we go into each of these tabs and I give you kind of an idea what you can do in each tab, it's very important important that I kind of give you a brief idea first about the architecture how the Google Ad Manager account looks like but these particular slides will give you an idea it will just make you a bit familiar with the uh, how these each of the tabs in the left navigation panel work now to get an idea if you see here these are the tabs if you can remember some of them now we will discuss each of them one by one briefly and then we'll come back to this ad account uh, and then we will I will show you each of the options available here now remember that this is just uh, an overview video so I'll just give you an overview we will not dig too much deeper into each of the options now if you see here that Google Ad Manager the main two tabs in any Google Ad Manager account are delivery tab and inventory tab which you can see here delivery and inventory now what happens is delivery tab is for everything related to advertiser if you see here the delivery tab is where you manage ads that need to run on the website the creatives the ad video whether it's an image you can create campaigns and manage delivery settings priority price uh, pricing dates creative troubleshoot so basically whenever an advertiser because if you are a google ad manager account there might be advertisers which will be willing to show ads on your website or you might be using Google AdSense to backfill or use Google AdSense to show ads on your website through your Google Ad Manager account. Now delivery tab is where you control all the creative, the settings of each line item. We will know what line item is. Uh, if you have multiple campaigns for advertisers, their dates, so everything related to a campaign which you run for an advertiser. That's what you do in delivery tab, including the troubleshooting. Let's say, <coughs> let's say an ad is not working fine. A video ad is not appearing on the page or an image ad is appearing more bigger than what it should appear as, or it's appearing as cropped. Everything related to creatives, campaigns, their pricing, their dates, you control in delivery tab. That's what it shows here. And in the inventory tab, you control everything on your website side. So basically, Google Ad Manager is something where you show ads from advertisers. On the other hand, it's connected with your website. So in inventory tab, you control everything about your inventory, which is ad slots on your website. Whether it is, let's say, 
creating a new ad slot on your page, whether it's controlling settings of an ad slot on a page, whether it's combining different ad slots on your page in a placement, we'll know all of this in detail. Or let's say setting up rules that, okay, the ad slot on home page, it should only show this size of ad. It should only show ads from this particular advertiser. So everything that has to do with your inventory on your website side that is controlled in inventory tab that's what this picture shows here ads go into delivery tab and inventory tab is connected with your website here now um, now you can stop pause for a while you can read these descriptions but that's what it means now going to the next slide you know we will add on to this now we know that delivery and inventory tab are the most important and probably the ones where you will spend most of the time in so on top of these there are other uh, tabs as well now if you go to your google ad manager account apart from delivery and inventory you will see some other uh, tabs as well that's what we are going to discuss actually all these other tabs whether it's admin it's reporting protection privacy or home tab they are all like a setting they control what happens in these two tabs which is delivery and inventory delivery and inventory are most important others are all settings and reporting let's say for example admin tab is like settings reporting protection privacy we'll discuss all of them but there is a quick snapshot snapshot of what each of these uh, does so now let's jump to the ui and see what are the sub options available now as i discussed when you log into your account you will directly be redirected to home home is customizable there by default there will be some cards like overview look uh, looking for insights programmatic video signals uh, top pricing rules now there are there is not much data in this account so it's not showing you uh, but it will again be graphs and tables which i will show you in a 360 account google ad manager 360 account but this is just to give you an idea so demand comparison you will see uh, detected yield partners what we will know all of this but uh, think of home as a quick snapshot of your account and you can customize it as well for example you can add a card that i want to see let's say uh, new data card configure you want to see let's say impressions or impressions by country what is demand by country inventory type uh, programmatic channel you can uh, select uh, a graph you can select a table you can select a picture so it's like snapshot snapshot of your account from different reporting cards you can add anything in your home tab uh, so that's honestly all about home tab and you can change the dates and you can see all these uh, details and reports for those particular dates it's like a reporting snapshot of your account where you see like uh, uh, in graphs and tables and different kind of widgets and you can customize it now the next one is delivery tab which we discussed if you remember it's everything to do about advertisers campaigns now let's quickly jump and see what it means now in delivery tab what you will see is orders now we will discuss all of this in detail but just to give you an idea so the hierarchy for example if you are familiar with google ads there we have campaigns then we have ad groups or let's say if you are in familiar with dv360 there we have uh, campaigns then we have insertion orders then we have line items so the hierarchy in ad manager is there are orders orders are like for example if you are working with let's say samsung and they have multiple uh, uh, let's say they have a summer uh, campaign under which they have multiple uh, campaigns uh, one for devices one for accessories one for cameras so orders is like you create an order for a bigger project under which you create line items line items are the actual campaigns which run which have dates which have creatives uh, so for example if you are working with such an advertiser where you need to create kind of a bigger project and within that you need to create small campaigns then that's what orders and line items are for we will know all of them in detail what settings are available and how to configure in different use cases but this is just to give you an idea so if you click on order it will show you all your orders in your account here and the details start time end time so i don't have anything in this particular account but this is where you see existing orders and you can create a new order then we have line item and where 
obviously as i told you iron items are like the actual mini campaigns within uh, orders so for example if you have just one uh, summer campaign for samsung and you just have one campaign for devices that's all so you create one order and under which you just create one line item it's an option if you have you can use it in multiple use cases but if you don't have you just create one order and under which you just create one line item that is fine and the same hierarchy when you have orders then you have mini campaigns called line items and then you have creatives creatives are the actual ads that will show in these line items uh, we will discuss again all of them this is where you will see your existing creatives in your account and you can upload new ones here as well. Then we have native ads, which is, uh, th there is a dedicated mini tab under delivery for native ads. And then we have delivery tools uh, where you actually have like web page ads, you can create screenshots and you can see different kind of app ads if you have like your Google Ad Manager account linked to your app. So that's like to give you an idea, this is what you do in delivery tab. You have orders, you have line items, the creatives and some tools. Then we have inventory tab on here where uh, we will create ad units. Ad units are actually the representation of your ad slots on your website in your uh, uh, Google Ad Manager account. So whatever changes you make to your ad units are affected, are reflected in the ad slots on your page. Some of them are, some of them aren't. We will discuss all of them in detail. This is just to give you an idea what an ad unit means. Then we have apps like if you have multiple apps linked to your Google Ad Manager account, you can control some settings here and there. And again, again, sites, let's say, for example, I am, uh, I have two blogs, Senator We Run Ads, and then we have, I have ovsahmad.com. So I can add multiple sites. I can link multiple sites to my Google Ad Manager account. Usually all the big publishers, they have multiple sites and that's, but they control it using one Google Ad Manager. Then we have key values. It's something to do with, uh, settings with the ad slots on the page we'll discuss all of them then we have targeting presets traffic forecast now traffic forecast is kind of uh, if you have a new order you have a new client you just want to know how many ad impressions you have available for next month let's say you have some campaigns running there are new campaigns that have been booked and you just want to know with everything that has been set up how many impressions are you expecting in the next month and how many are already booked and how many are available that's what forecasting basically is so you can do that in inventory tab as well as i told you it is inventory tab is everything about your inventory on your ad slots uh, then we have network settings which i will discuss later these are about some settings you can control in your network which will we will discuss obviously in detail uh, then we have protections so that was uh, delivery and inventory which is like the core of your google ad manager account home we discussed it's like uh, some widgets here and there and then we have protection protection is uh, specific so what you can do is there are three types of protections in google ad manager let's say one is ad content so you can it's like for brand safety you can protect your for example if i create an ad content protection with this ad content protection if i create new i can control that okay you know what uh, no ads related to gambling should appear on my website no ads related to e-commerce should appear so i can control what kind of ad content can appear on my website and not uh, because in ad sense you you don't know like what kind of advertiser is going to bid on your inventory then we have competition so for example if i am working with Colgate and uh, Pepsodent. Now both of them are working with me and I can create kind some kind of protection that they don't appear together on my website because <coughs> it will look odd that uh, uh, Colgate ad saying uh, dentist number one brand and uh, Pepsodent saying dentist number one brand appearing together on your page. Or let's say you are a web blog, you are talking about a car crash uh, or a plane crash. And then you are showing ads related to uh, fly, fly to Malaysia for, uh, let's say, 500 euros tickets. So it will look very odd. Plan, uh, your blog is about plane crash and you are selling uh, plane tickets. So you can create those kind of protection as well. And then there is inventory exclusion. So roughly I can give you an idea. So inventory exclusion protection is about, let's say, for example, you don't want to show AdSense ads on your homepage on the top banner or you have an advertiser who is paying very little CPMs you don't want to show their ads on your home page top banner so you can create those kind of inventory exclusions we will know all of this in detail this is just to give you an idea 
Okay, uh, then we have reporting. Uh, as reporting is very straightforward, you can, in this tab, you can create any kind of reports, like let's say how many impressions did I serve, how much revenue did I made, um, uh, a lot of reports. We'll discuss uh, all kinds of reports in this tab later, but this is what reporting tab is for. Then we have privacy and messaging. This is specifically for compliance to laws like uh, GDPR, CCPA, IDFA. You can create like the notifications you get when you go on a website, allow cookies and all those ex uh, things you can create in uh, Google Ad Manager and you can comply with all these policies based on what region you are based in and a lot of other parameters we'll discuss this as well then we have admin admin is like if you have a laptop uh, there is settings if you have a iPhone or you have any other phone Samsung there is a settings tab always so that is what admin is for Google Ad Manager all the network level settings you control in admin to give you an idea for example you can control some global settings like time zones for reporting the currencies and access and authorization you can control who you give access to this google ad manager account because in a company if there are 10 people managing google ad manager account you can give access to all of them with different roles you can control their roles then there are linked accounts you can have multiple adsense accounts linked to the same um, google ad manager account and other kind of accounts ad mob or a lot of other types of accounts then about delivery some settings about delivery then some settings about inventory then we have some video related and audio ad related settings then we have companies companies is like when you work for multiple clients let's say samsung and uh, apple and uh, any anyone so you create kind of companies and within those companies, companies are like entities, you create users where you can give access to their users to reports of their specific campaign. So that's what companies is for. Or you set up invoices and a lot of things which we will know later. EU user settings is again about uh, European Union uh, user uh, consent settings. And then CCPA setting is again uh, the compliance. And then we have change history where you can see everything that was done in this account let's say for example if multiple people are working on this account and then um, somebody made a change nobody knows who did what so this is where you check all the changes uh, that were done on a particular date by a particular user so that you get an idea so that is honestly uh, the ui all about the ui except here if you go uh, this is called notifications bar where you will see all the notifications related to your account then there is a help menu if you click on it you can search for any topic or help related to any topic which is very uh, helpful in most of the cases and then you have settings uh, which again takes you to the login and all those details learn on skillshop will open google ad manager courses on skillshop which are good in uh, in most of the cases and that's all about the google ad manager ui now uh, if you want to see how a Google Ad Manager 360 UI looks like, I'm going here. So this is a Google Ad Manager 360 UI. If you see on the left hand side, there are some additional tabs available in 360. For example, there is a dedicated tab for video because video is uh, all the video advanced uh, is uh, paid features. So that in that's how you recognize if it's an Ad Manager 360 because you have it written here. Then you have billing uh, tab which was not available in Google Ad Manager. And then you have uh, Sales tab, which was not available in Google Ad Manager. We will obviously go through all of these uh, in detail as well, but this is just to give you an idea and make you familiar. So that was all for this video. This is a snapshot of all the tabs, what they do. And I hope this video was helpful for you in any way. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.